It was supposed to be the job of her dreams. After several years working for commercial airlines, Jerry MacDonald moved from her Cheshire home to the southeast to become an air hostess for Mohammed Al Fayyad's own private airline. Almost instantly, the dream became a nightmare. He'd sort of come from behind his desk to you, and then he'd kind of give you a hug. But it was kind of like a granddad family member, you kind of feel at the time, you're like, OK. And then he'll sort of just give you a kiss on the cheek. And then it goes from a kiss on the cheek to two kisses on the cheek. But then there was still nothing really odd up until probably my third flight that I did to Paris. And I remember sitting on a chair, as I am now, and not having any idea that he suddenly just appeared behind me and he just placed his hand straight into my blouse. Ultimately, she mm. says her refusal to give in yeah. to Al Fayed's advances cost her her job. He just told me to sit down on the settee, brought me a drink over, he sat next to me really, really, like, really closely, uncomfortably close, um, and then he just literally grabbed, grabbed my head really firmly and just pushed himself on me, started to kiss me. Um, and I just instinctively kind of pushed his, you know, his shoulder to kind of get away and he just completely turned on me, just started swearing and just told me, you know, you're a stupid girl, what did you think I'd, you know, invited you here for? I want to have sex with you. You should take my offer because you're not going to amount to anything. You know, just, just horrible. And then he just said, OK, well, I don't want you to work on my jet anymore. We asked Harrods Aviation for a comment on these allegations. They're yet to respond, but Harrods Managing Director Michael Ward has previously said in a statement that... This was a shameful period in the business's history. However, the Harrods of today is unrecognisable to Harrods under his ownership. As detailed new information has come to light over the past 18 months, the business has established a settlement process designed in consultation with independent external experts in personal injury litigation. We encourage former colleagues to contact us using this process so that we can provide the support and recourse they need. There are now dozens of women who claim to have been Al Fayed's victims. More stories seem to appear by the day. And as they do, the questions mount for those around him. Who knew what, when, and how was it allowed to continue? Matthew Thompson, Sky News in Essex.